We have three times the year 3000, Joe 418, or real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joe, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Hi, friend. Hi, buddy. You're my best friend. And you're my bestest friend. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome oh, to the Satellite of Love. I'm just observing my robots, Tom Servo and Croy, as they go through their best friend stage. Watch with me. What do you want to do, friend? Oh, I don't know, pal. What do you want to do? Whatever you want to do, compadre. <laughs> We're friends. We certainly are the best of friends. Why? Friends for life. I'd take a bullet for you. Oh, and I'd do your jail time. Really? Say, you want to hit each other real hard and rub our bruises together? No, friend. Oh. Uh, you want to shock frogs with a battery charger? No, friend. Oh. Huh. You know, I'm really not that fond of you. Nor are right, you. You smell bad. And you're dumb. Yeah, well, you're a jerk. Well, hey! You're a Dorbus. Hey, you, give I me got one your one. arm. <laughs> uh, I got your nose. Well, I guess Stupid. they grew out of that Baby. stage pretty fast. Um, we'll be right back. No! Oh. Hey! Hey, do you like that crow kid? I mean, like, I used to like him and stuff, but then some other friends of mine are going, they're going, man, is that crow kid ever a lame and a jerk? And I'm going, man, is that ever true? Uh, <laughs> come on, Tom, you can't mean that about Joel, that. he's a dumb, smelly dickweed and stuff. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hey, what you guys talking about? <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, something nice, I presume. Uh, never mind, uh, Rob and Laura are calling. Hey, you done with my arm yet? <laughs> Well, Joe, as you know, many prominent American woodworkers have, well... Died. Yes, they're dead. Uh, not meant as a criticism, but still true. Which is the basis of our invention exchange this week. It's the router Ouija board. Sure, any ordinary Ouija board can contact spirits from beyond the grave. But with the router Ouija board, when you're in contact with the spirit of a dead woodworker, Lost in the hoary underworld. Ooh. You get woodworking done with the pride and craft unknown in the world of the living. Now, Joel, prepare yourself, for we are in contact with someone or something known as Ethan Allen. Oh, Ethan Allen, most powerful and revered woodworker. Give, Give us, us a, a sign. sign. Wow, I, I hope they conjure up Homer Formby next. Well, Homer Formby's not dead. He isn't? No. Well, what the heck am I thinking of? Next week, we will demonstrate the lathe of heaven. Why don't you go ahead with your invention exchange, Joel? Sure, remember this old gag? Thanks for holding, Crow. Oh, hi, Joel. Hey, how's hobby? Hey, put Dory on, would you play? Oh, oh, Yes, the squirting phone. A classic on the level of the spitting clam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's been updated and digitized for the 90s. Say hello to the funny gag facts. You just feed the paper in like any fax machine, add a little water, and fire away at <laughs> some unsuspecting rube a hundred miles away. You set up down there, sirs?
Ah, oh, Frank, there's a fax coming through this. Now you see, I told you this would start paying for itself as soon as we plugged it in. Let's see if we've done it. Oh. It's for you. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Here, check this out. Really? What is it? Just for that jaw, I'm gonna send you Attack of the Eye Creatures! Which I was going to do anyway. Push oh, the button, Frank. That's okay, you'll get him next time. You'll be Would okay. Would you put Don't... that thing down? God. Oh, oh, we he got him! Oh, yeah. ah! Whoa! Oh, you okay, bro? Uh, yeah, I love that joke. <laughs> the Untouchables. The Defiant Temps. <laughs> hey, he got arrested by a ventriloquial figure. It was a dull movie, and Allstate was there. <laughs> well, time to end my film career now. I know, I know, I look like the bulldog in the Warner Brothers cartoon. Say, nice area. I think. Okay, it's a $4 cover. Good luck in there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Go get him, Tiger. Come in. Welcome yeah. to the third grade. May I see your credentials? Certainly. Jeez, he's getting carded. A uh, picture came in. You ought to have the key. Yes, it arrived by special messenger late this afternoon. I'll just, uh... Oh, oh, damn, I hate these things. Would you just get it open, please? Sorry. Boy, lunch is really a big deal around here. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. Hey, I said show your work. Hmm. B minus. Work on your penmanship. Please excuse Johnny from gym class. He's a top secret agent. Here's your receipt. That's for tax purposes. I don't need to remind you of the necessity for absolute security on this, General. No! Ah! Oh. I realize that civilization itself may depend on it. Good luck. I resent him. Uh, oh, what was I doing? Oh, oh yeah. Sergeant, send that Lieutenant Robertson from Security Sector 3 in here. And put the Azalea Pictures Presents up. All right, boys to the gym, please. Girls to the home ec room. If AV geeks rule the world. We do. Uh, <laughs> Attack of the the eye creatures. Did Mel Tillis write these titles or what? Oh. God. Look, we'll be starting the movie in a second. Please be patient, people. Like, oh, those brackets. It's in leader. Uh, Cynthia Hull? Here. Warren Hammock? Yo! Chet Davis? Present. Bill Peck? Not here. Very funny, <laughs> Mr. Peck. <laughs> it's a Dockers commercial. Ethan Allen? Wow, he must be old. Uh, Tony Houston, we have a problem. Jonathan Ledford Seagull? What time is the pistol whipping? It's some hall monitor, huh? Yeah. Uh, you a commie? Just checking. We'll go in. What are you waiting for? Coming. Pink young houseboy reporting for duty, sir. Robertson reporting his order. Sit down, Lieutenant, and relax. So, tell me, why do you want to be a prep cook at Denny's? So are you responsible for the triple whip out in the cafeteria? Oh. As you know, Robertson, your Sector 3 has not been cleared for receipt of materials on Project Visitors. <laughs> I know, tell so Robertson. I'd like to give you a <laughs> verbal briefing for relay to Colonel Harrison. I'll ask that you not take notes, but that you absorb everything you see and hear. I'm your sponge, sir. There are certain events which I'm not at liberty to disclose. We feel that Sector 3 will be the probable place for the next contact. I'll get the snacks. You like combos? 
Now pay close attention to the information recorded on this film. It was prepared by elves section of our UFO division. Prepared by elves? What, in a hollow tree? This latest military film concerning Project Visitors was obtained from the remote-controlled high-altitude satellite Space Eyes, yeah. as well as from ground tracking I'm Peter stations. Graves for any The last ship sighted was of a completely unfamiliar design and came under hyper-radar and infrared surveillance at 2,300 hours yesterday. Uh -huh. The alien ship veered for a close pass at the United States Remote Meteorological Laboratory in orbit 15CX. It came with ham and a choice of bunk. communication was made. The orbiting object then resumed its Earth intercept course at a rocky point <laughs> along the Sierra Madre in the western portion of the United States. No, seriously, let's see the real film. Due course to the east uh -huh, at an extremely low rate of speed. Oh, yeah, but it... The official evaluation of headquarters command is that the space vehicle is probably manned. Uh, I know, but... It... Will affect uh... the surface landing and must be presumed to be unfriendly. Well, sure, but... It is imperative that absolutely no public information be released at this time to prevent the probable worldwide panic. From a Infrared bagel witch? <laughs> lost contact with the vehicle over the central United States in the general area of security sector six. Should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your action. <coughs> any questions? Yeah, what the heck was that about? I'm in here. All right, Lieutenant, your transportation's waiting. You should be back in your sector within an hour. Oh, Lieutenant. Nice pants. You tell Colonel Harrison that I want those infrared scanners manned every minute, 24 hours a day, and that's an order. Yes, sir. Take off. To the great white north. Mid Spring World at the Landon Odd Mattress Factory. Got anything on the infrared scope? Yep. Moving body. Sandy Barron and Robert Wall are back. Scanner. And now, the most instantly unappealing character in film history. <laughs> oh, you know, Pontiacs are really funny if you look at them in the right way. <laughs> $49 down, $49 a month, drive it away. Better deal with this again. Ain't science wonderful? I only found out about it after I got in the Air Force. He's Charles Nelson Riley's understudy. Go to close. Uh -huh. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Oh, it's the All Kennedy Channel. Hmm? Oh. All Kennedy. Harold, somehow I had the feeling that, that... Well, that Gaussian equations are flawed due to their strictly watched. Euclidean view of the universe. We are, Bill. The kids in the other cars. Later on, we may watch them for a while. I borrowed a camcorder from Rob Lowe. But, Harold, I just know they're watching us. Good. Now that's over. Let's Come go. on, let me ram my nose into your ear. But the feeling I have is like... It's like someone out there is watching us. It's just your imagination, pussycat. There's no one here but us chickens. Oh, I truly admire science. Oh, wise guy, eh? Sergeant, what's up? I am, sir. Nothing, sir. Just testing the infrared equipment. That means you're playing Peeping Tom again, right? Right, sir. Culver, how many times have you been busted for pulling shenanigans just like that? You mean this year, sir? All together. What a lot up, what up, boy? Three times, sir. We're here for a reason. We got booted a out of vote. A reason important to the national security, and don't ever forget it. No, sir. No, sir. Don't. We're here to watch the skies and not the skylines, right? Right, sir. Uh, you're ever so right, sir. Bad things are going on up there, right? Ah, uh, bad things are going on right in this room. Right. Mm -hmm. What kind of things, sir? Don't. Never you mind. You're here to watch the sky. Again and with a skyline. finger. <laughs> right? Oh, boy, are you ever right, sir? Right, sir. Now that that's established, let's take a look and see how the infra scanner's working. And now Red in the silent spot. Red's a perverted service man with lots of time. <laughs> Jeez, Henry portrait of a serial killer is not as oh, sick as Harold. this. Oh, Maud, Maud. Yeah. How about that? This is sick. <laughs> Sir. Well, did they get Charlie Chaplin to write the music? And now the little I fella makes out. Oh, Joel, I need a shower. <laughs> well, back to business, then. It's Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. When I get into town. Oh, how will you find her? I'd recognize her eyes. Any place. Oh, I refuse to watch this. The place most of these kids end up is uh, the pokey. Of course not. Oh. They're good kids. They end up at the terrace at the lake. 
Not that I go to places like that myself. Not that I would have a healthy oh, relationship. Bed. But I've heard of whatever the lieutenant says, uh, <laughs> sir. I'm with him, sir. The White Rock Cafe, where Whitey comes to drink and dance. A wonderful, wonderful, uh, thank you, boys. Um, Rock and roll can lead to meeting other people with similar interests. Yeah. Brought to you by White Beer. There's a trailer park of flavor in every bottle. Now, will there be anything else? Right now, I can't afford what I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> shut up. I Not you that. now. I got news for you. You never will. Say, there is one thing. I was wondering if you could tell me how to... Well, what's this word in the stage directions? Emote? Yeah, Raymond writing here. Let's see. Could you tell me how to get to... Holly Holiday's house? First base with you tonight? Oh! Oh. I'd like to apologize for the entire male well, gender now. Try. Thanks, I'm sorry. Trying's all we ever do ever since we hit this town. We should have never come here in the first place. Because the guy's got to be a native in this burg before Dan will give him a break. Don't give me that. Let's go home. I'm bushed. I'm quail. This country, man. Things move slow here. I tell you, I got a tip that this town's a cinch for a quick buck. A whole dollar? So all we have to do is get some kind of pitch going at the fairground. Now is all we have to worry about finding the right thing. Skip it. I'm going to bed. We'll pull out in the morning. Well, I'm loaded for action tonight. Ew. I'll take a drive and see what I can pick up. Fat chance. Remember, the car is half mine, so drive carefully. Your half's the front seat. I won't be using your half much tonight. Wet head and dry look. Or cop. Oh, mouth, no action. Ew. No, I want to walk off my great expectations. Oh. Ew. Back the wheels of progress. Or should I say the progress of a big wheel? I resent that. I can't believe I made those two guys. Yes. The onion field. I don't know about you guys, but I'm rooting for the, the eye creatures. Mm -hmm. I'm hey, dim your cufflinks. Chip Douglas, you come in here this instant. It's a cow cell. Hmm. Oh, well, it's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Hmm. How about that, baby? When you kiss me... Turn it off! Turn it off! I just see explosions. You know what? When he kisses her, I see explosions. You know what? You are one sick mama jama. Let's watch. It's like he walked right out of a J. Crew catalog. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna fall. Good work, Oh, so bright. <laughs> he looks like Roy Cohn. Emma. <laughs> huh, Mariah Carey's running through the woods. Okay, I can go now. You're sure it was out by the old baby place? Sure, dead sure. Mm. That was probably a plane going down. Anything could happen with these crazy electrical storms we've been having. That's it. Low lightning, what else? How dare you negate you me? I still believe the old Bailey house is haunted. Maybe the ghosts have come back. That old place was built before the Civil War. Could be. Well, how's your recruiting coming along, Lieutenant? Not bad. <laughs> hey, why don't you uh, Shanghai a couple of them? Are you kidding? <laughs> Wonder what they're jabbering about. Oh, art, science, critical theory, you know. She dresses like a bobber. Well, I don't see any girls around, so what's keeping you Romeo so busy? Jim just saw a spaceship. Only one. With all the beer he drank, you'd think he'd see at least six. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking <laughs> is green. Oh. I like gum. <laughs> I the yellow ones myself. <laughs> Say, speaking of uh, the yellow ones. How's your teeth? Why don't y'all go over and talk to that Air Force recruiting officer? Yeah, he makes improper so dances. That's what too. he is. I've seen him hanging around, too. Yeah, that's what he says he is. This place has all the ambience of a Vietnamese well, restaurant. The uh, boys were just kidding about seeing a spaceship, Lieutenant. Hmm. Everyone knows there's no such thing. 
How many times do we have to deny it before people will believe us? Well, excuse me, fly boy. Oh, I'll get back to you when I think of an insult. Better watch mm -hmm. out. The way things are going, he may be giving some of you orders next month. Man, I'm booked. They're dragging me in feet first. I thought you had a date with Susan tonight. I do. I'm picking her up at 9.30. She's uh, fussing with a new dress. Go this song. We know you're waiting for her old man to get out of the house. What kind of dress takes that long to get into? <laughs> Waitress, I think we're I done. Mean, Susan's got a lot of the right things to put in the right places. Yeah. And they're all mine. Oh. Ooh. Right, we'll see. I admire him. <laughs> we now return to Macon County Line. <laughs> Go and get me a piece of bottom land. Yeah. Jesse Helms in retirement. Yay! Kill all the characters. Woo! Another carload of them blasted smooches on my property. I'll get the law after them. Thank you for providing a running commentary. I can't seem to get the stink out. The wind song stays in my car. Look, little Billy left his toy in the lawn. There's a twig in front of it. <laughs> Run! There's a snap tight bottle in the woods. Well, what are you, Jamie Lee Curtis? Little Red Chevette. Ron Howard pops the clutch and tells the world to eat his dust. Boy, sure is dark tonight, huh? Ooh, mm, dark, Pretty dark. Look, people have a right to drive on the road, old man. Come on. I'll fix them. An omelet or maybe continental breakfast, but that's it. That's they ain't sure. gonna work on Maggie's farm no more. <coughs> Darling, your head is full. Well, why not? We're only young ones. Besides, I'm going to show you the moon. Uh, no, please, stay seated. I can see any time. You can. Hmm? Oh, she's got a praying mantis. All right, go get him, tiger. Hey, whoa. Take it easy. Not so fast. I'm out of breath. Calling Susan Filotti, calling Susan Filotti. I'm eloping with you tonight. That's proof enough, isn't it? It sure is, seeing how your father hates me. No, what are they that doing? bad. Whoa, Tommy, that is one sweet ride. Well, hop in. Oh, uh, no thanks. Uh, your driving makes me scared. Oh, we won't drive anywhere. I thought we could be like the teeners in the movie, you know, uh -huh. sit and talk for a while, uh -huh. then maybe uh, make out. Oh, okay, that sounds like fun. What? Make out, you know, smooch, like in the movie. Okay, now let's figure this out. First, you scooch over close to me, yeah, then tilt over. your head back okay. and moan. Oh my God, no! Ah! Huh, wonder what's eating him. Hi, Tom! Hi. Hey, sweet ride! Thanks. Hey, you want to make out? Uh, I, uh, uh, oh, come on, please. As a friend, I've never been kissed before except on my arm, and I've never tasted lips. Uh, commercial, commercial sign in two minutes. minutes. Say, magic voice. No, Tom, I won't. Well, actually, I can't. I have no physical form. Oh, but you do know about it. Making out? Sure, it's nothing new. Well, I guess I've heard of it before, too. It just never struck me like it did today. It seemed brand new. And, well, I have so many questions, like, why? Why does one make out? And once you've started, how do you know when you're done? And now, I consider it a greeting, like a firm handshake, only with the lips. Am I right? Oh, yeah. And is it necessary to use the lips? I mean, could I kiss with my forehead or my elbow? And are the teeth involved? And where the heck do you store your tongue? Another thing, do you suck or blow? Is it under some sort of strict rabbinical supervision or something? And here's a puzzler. Who kisses whom and when? I mean, being a robot, can I kiss animals? Or am I confined to a single species? Oh, yeah, I can't pucker. Is that a handicap? Oh, how can a man in a single lifetime know everything there is to know about making out? You know something, mister? Huh. You ask too many questions. Well, I'm only... Mwah! You know, I've always wanted to do that. I, 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 I... Hmm. I'm sorry, Tom. I was just teasing. 
Oh. Mike, we've made it. What a surprise he lives in a shabby furnished room. Travis Bickle had a better room than this. Wake up, I said. Mike, we've got it made. We're millionaires. Yeah. Really, I thought we were oily drifters. But this is different. It's big. Now look, I'm not trying to give you a pitch, but get this. Term insurance. You and me are going to put on an exhibition. No! First and only. Truly authentic spaceship. You woke me up to tell me that? Told you it was big, didn't I? Well, I've seen one. Just like all these jokers have been saying. It's big and round and glows sort of funny like. Oh, that's the big boy sign. It gives this funny sound like. <laughs> that's like great. That. Police! Police! Like that, huh? Yeah. And it landed over somewhere near that old house that's supposed to be haunted. Great, isn't it? All right, get in. I forgot to ask you, how was your day? <laughs> it's Punch and Goofy. <laughs> All right. All right. But when I'm rolling in the dough, don't say that I didn't invite you in. Okay. You're invited out. I'll handle it myself. Stanley, get me a hammer. Go back to sleep. Sleep your life away. Now pick me up some pomade while you're out. Oh. Yeah? Huh. Looks like the cover of Better Homes and Gardens. Mm -hmm. Sir? Come in, Pile, get in here! Honey, what happened to your hair? Why are these blasted alarms always at night? Phil Silvers. About this so-called spaceship of yours. Just Richard do you Deacon. Think it is? From what these kids said, oh, it must be somewhere good. northeast of town. Oh. Well, that checks with the last report we had from the radar station. I assume your man had it on the scope. And we better get right out there, sir? The general was pretty sore at us for letting the last one get out of our scope. Army intelligence really scooped us that time. Scoop, Joe Garagiola. Just a figure of speech, sir. Well, I hope so. Wally okay. Sean. There's just one thing I want to caution you about. Tofu. Yes, in civilian life, you were a publicity man. I was what a leopard think? boy in the circus. Just this. <laughs> Our job is to prevent a possible nationwide panic by keeping the information from the public. Fred Clark. I figured a public information officer is about the last thing we need. I didn't request this assignment, sir. I know that. But get this straight, Robertson. If you leak one word of any of this to your cronies, I'll have you court-martialed and shot. Do I make myself clear? Uh, what yes. was the middle part again? Yes, indeed, sir. Good. Now go down the hall and get your men. And tell them to load their weapons. <laughs> Bill Silvers, Richard Dick, and Jackie Leonard, Joe Grant, Yellow Wallace, Sean Fred Clark, ladies and gentlemen. Dear Abby, I'm an elderly woman who doesn't... It, huh? Smoochers! Oh, that was just the house settling. I don't We now join Ernest Hemingway at his home in Ketchum, Idaho. A toe in there. Hadn't <laughs> kids out get them yet. I can hardly see the road. We want to get there in one piece. <laughs> Relax, honey. It's only about a half a mile to the highway. We'll make it. Nothing to be afraid of. Man, it's really hard to see the road when it's noon. Ooh. You know, Joe, maybe your head's like an egg sack, or maybe it's for water storage, or... Stop ahead! I will if I see one rolling by. <laughs> <laughs> Leader of the pack. I don't know. It happened so fast. I didn't even see it. Hey, wait for me! Last one of the plot points, a rotten egg! Stan, what have we done? It's a body, we... Come on, give me a hand. Let's take him to the hospital. Hmm? Ooh. Ugh, beluga caviar. He ran over a fungus. Dan, I think we killed the Michelin it? man. I don't know. Is it still alive? Uh, whatever it is, I killed it. It's dead, Jim. Oh. I think I'm going to be sick. Stan, take me away from here. Calgon, take me away. Hand jive. Hand jive. Doing the hand jive. 
You're soaking in it. Ooh, Mads are gross. What was that? Oh, sorry, that's me. Yeah, but... It's a tire. The fender must have cut it when we hit that thing. Are we stuck here? Well, we can't drive on it. We're right off the rim, and I haven't got a spare. So, let's Look, make out. The old Bailey house and call the police. That's all we can do. I'll be back. I don't know, space alien, bloody hand. Wind, I guess. Come on. We now return to the eyes of Laura Mars. Boy, it is dark as you hope they find their way. Mm. Mm. Sessions presents John Denver. Country roads take me home. Oh, let's go to the Toby Hooper place here. Hmm, Egan. Hmm. Hmm. Nice place. Now let's try the last house on the left here. Andy, Opie, Floyd, Bye, Bye honey, we're doomed. Uh, can we leave you a watchtower? I'll just stand the steps while you get murdered. What's the matter? Well, the kids. They say this place is haunted. And they say that falling in love it is wonderful. Be, I got a feeling that whatever's in there, this is a lot safer than what's out here. Hyman, someone's Hello? at the door. Anybody home? Well, it looks like the Hooterville Hotel. Hurry, stay. We've got no right to be here. I wonder where he keeps a phone. I wonder if he has a phone. Oh, man, that is cold. Is he a dream oh. or a dud? <laughs> Fibber McGee and Murray. Hey, I'd rather do it myself. I'd rather you did it too. Opening strange doors isn't the thing for a good, clean, living American girl to do. You're right. You can never tell what's on the other side. What kind of a declaration is that? I love that dialogue. Hey, Stan. There's the phone on the wall. Oh, thanks. Now, you see, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just keep your wits about you and things begin to take on the proper... Dr. Respect. Treves, uh, would you like to see my cathedral? Uh, wait, it's... Very lucky girl to have a guy like me. Mm, keep telling me. The old guy is very well read. Oh, John Gacy makeup book, the mm. spec Whitman letters. Uh, give me the police department, it's an emergency. Kind of an easygoing emergency, but still. Mm. Eddie Haskell. Like it's ever for me. Yep. Hello? Uh, my name is Kenyon, Stan Kenyon. Stan Kenyon? Wow! Place. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Let's see, uh, What's the upper trouble? corner locker. Yeah. F. There we go. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, my sport coat's wrinkled. Oh, sure. Uh, You've seen some little spaceman. Don't look at me. That's better. I know. From another planet. Ten speed and brown shoe. Look, do me a favor. If you see him again, will you uh, give him my love and tell him to go home? God, I hate the public. Well, it's Saturday night, all right. Lithium cops. That just made it official. Hmm? That's it. Hit him with a People's Choice Award. You got a possum on your head, girly? What are you doing in my house? You're right, he does look like a spaceman. Hi, Mr. Bailey, we hit something with our car and we came up here to call the police. You were out. The door was open. That don't give you the right to walk in. Who was it you hit? It wasn't a person, it was a thing. Oh, it don't make no difference. It all spells people. You're communist? And people spells trouble. I knew it. I didn't know what was gonna happen if you kids didn't stay off my property. Suffering secretary. Yeah. We'll call the police, all right. The phone's dead. That's what you say. Ed Asner, in a role that will surprise you. Look, we, we didn't kill anybody. I mean, it wasn't a person. It, it, it was a space thing, a, a monster. I know it sounds crazy. But I'm Punky Brewster. You kids been drinking? No. Yes. Yes. No, no sir. Uh, what's your name, sonny? Stan Kenyon. Stan Kenyon? Wow. Yeah, I thought I'd seen you before. We didn't hurt anything human. I took... Okay, we'll go. And you tell your friends they'd better keep off of my property or they'll get a backside full of rock salt. Yes, sir. Now you get. Backside full of rock salt, yes, sir. All right, come on, get. Okay. Wait, come back. I, I don't know how to love. I, I miss you already. James A. Michener's Adventures in...
Okay, put me through to Dub Taylor, Will Gear, and Strether Martin. Hello, Sarah. Yes, Tell them to send some cops out here and chase these smooches off of my property. What are you wearing, Sarah? Huh? Oh. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. See that you do. I'm not a police officer myself, but if you'd like to stay... Well... Midsection Playhouse presents... They're a fun couple. Too bad they're gonna die. It sure is dark out there. Hope they don't get a moon burn. <laughs> Well, still trying to air that wind song out of my car. She's gonna have fun, fun, fun till her daddy takes that away. Ow. Huh, bumps when you cook it. Yeah. Okay, Jed, let's take it from the top. Okay, so I exit from my house wielding my gun. What's my motivation? Your paycheck. Smokers, it has to taste good. Chips, that's what I mean. A Quinn Martin production. He's wearing <laughs> hammer pants. Check it out. <laughs> I wonder what made him so cranky. Oh, well, he's in group therapy with Pa Joe, Grandpa Walton, Ma and Pa Kettle. I heard my bouncing Betty go off. Oh, I hate smooch. Oh, I, that's not me. I'm the young guy. There. Tuck it in. Andrew Pillow, please. Um, emergency 911. An eye creature is down. Rough boys under the street. Yeah, I want a bite. Nightfall. Uh, sort of. The driving scene will haunt your dreams. <laughs> wow, it's really dark here. Boy, oh boy. Ooh. Hey, it's John Boy, back from college. Hi, I'm selling subscriptions to Smoocher Magazine. Anybody home? Hey, uh, you audience members, you've been smooching, haven't you? Teenage wasteland, they're all wasted. <laughs> you worms and bugs, you been smooching down there? Mike, Carl. Steve, Earl, now Ed, listen. Link, Julie, Smith. Listen, Mike, this time I've got proof. What is it, Carl? I got bed sores. Now listen, Mike, I can't tell you what it is, but I swear I'm telling you the truth. I can't tell you what it is. There was another gunman behind the fence. Because I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's stuck under a car. Now listen, Mike. Get a cab and come out here. I need your help. Yeah, well, that's too bad. I'm, I'm going back to sleep. But Mike. But nothing. Goodbye. Mike, don't hang up. Now listen, do me just one favor. Babe. Clean everything out of the refrigerator. The refrigerator? Ooh. It's yeah. your turn. What I'm bringing home is perishable. We've got to keep it on ice. Got it, Mike? Including the shells. That's my boy. You won't regret it. I swear to you. You do believe me, don't you? I'll be right home with it. Sure, everything out of the refrigerator. Everything. Got it? I got it! I got it! Everything you ever wanted out of a refrigerator. Oh, you are wrong, pomade breath. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, God. Oh, no. you. Oh, and now Red in the silent spot. Red sports a sweater dress and... Let's see, buttermilk from last Christmas, eggnog from last Christmas, fur, oh, cat food. Oh, are you smoocher? Oh, a single smoocher, the worst kind. Beer. Booze, booze and beer, cold beer, wine, beer. DJ Swan. Now, get in and close the door. What the heck am I doing? I'm a psycho. I'm as crazy as he is. Oh. Now the dogs can't control me. Can you imagine how dingy and yellow his sheets are? Ignatius P. Riley had better hygiene than this guy. 
All right, you dig the flipping hall. We gotta take care of that problem upstate. Ah, uh, sorry, it turns out I'm going camping and I need that blanket. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, I creature. I ain't gonna cut you, man. I ain't gonna cut you. Ironically, I'm having a hard time seeing. <laughs> Zip. Thank you, thank you. Fiddle faddle. Come here, I love you, you big galoot. <laughs> oh. It's being attacked by creamy nougat centers. Well, we think you're a bad person, and we don't approve of you or your kind, and, and a lot of other bad stuff. Oh, shiatsu, it's really good for you. Well, time like the present, huh? Hey, you guys want to jump in here and help me? I'm the only one terrifying him. Ooh, oh, ooh. There was Forbidden Planet. Ben, there was Policewoman. And of course, who can ever forget uh, some of the other movies that he did. Right. These are just a few of the many reasons to celebrate Earl Holloman. Earl Hollomania. Yes, Earl Hollomania. As Earl Holloman prepares to undertake the most demanding role of his career, co-starring with Delta Burke in a new situation comedy, Delta, well, what better time to salute Earl Holloman? Earl Holloman. Earl Holloman, considered by many to be the poor man's Martin Milner. Yes, beloved Earl Holloman. Um, Earl Holloman, um, whose promising film career really didn't work out that good. <laughs> Earl Holloman. <laughs> Earl Holloman, who embraced the role of Sergeant Bill Crowley and flourished on the television drama Policewoman Earl Holloman. Earl Holloman, whose immortal words Pepper, you're going undercover, became the anthem of a disenfranchised generation who, until that moment, had nothing to believe in but their own ennui. Earl Holloman, um, who may very well have... In all likelihood... All evidence points to him having been... Was probably a guest star in Lancer at one time. And uh, uh, indisputably one of the major forces in 70s television was uh, Aaron Sp Spelling. Uh, 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 Earl seems like you should have had a part in the Big Valley, but will always be remembered for uh, Policewoman. Because who can forget Earl Holloman's groundbreaking role in Policewoman? Earl, Earl Holloman, Holloman, whose legacy of averageness infused many a movie. Why, even Attack of the Eye Creatures, in which a certain character, when filmed at just the right angles, vaguely resembles uh, Earl Holloman. Just another nod to Earl, Earl Holloman! Holloman. Whose endearing friendship with Monty Markham is chronicled in the bestseller Soulmates, pu published pre posthumously. To review, Earl Holloman will be forever remembered for his timeless work in Policewoman. Earl Holloman, Earl Holloman. who was undeniably, uh, unquestionably uh, in Policewoman, and you can't take that away from him, Doc Connor. Nope. Earl Holloman, who would have been William Shatner had there not already been one. Watch for Earl Hallamedia coming to your town soon. Oh, we got oh, it. Oh, But I don't think I believe it. Hey, Mel Torme wants his dewlap back. <laughs> That's the green light our jet pilots have been telling us they've seen. Now you're cooking with gas. Sir, enough with the jokes, Lieutenant. It was more of a quip, Those sir. Those turn out to be unfriendly. You've got a point there, sir. Shall I drive closer so we can get a better look? No, let's, let's stay right here. Something may be watching us right now. We better start smooching. Airman, get me guard headquarters on that shortwave radio. I'm gonna get some engineers right out here and see if we can get inside those things. You think we should get some photographers, sir? Some ragged, some roads, some reason maps. You've been in the Air Force as long as I have. You'll learn you don't have to think. All you do is follow standard operating procedures. Ouch. In this case, SOP calls for engineers, not photographers. Unless it's Maple Heart. I've got the National Guard. Give me that thing. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that thing. 
Sessions presents Leo Sayre. When I need love. Neil Sedaka. There was a time when strangers were welcome here. And many more. It's kind of Miller's Crossing time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is it? It's one of those space things alive. What's making that noise? Sing whenever, sing whenever I sing, whenever I sing, whenever I sing, whenever I sing. Get out of here. I'm with you. Sing whenever I sing, whenever I sing, whenever I sing. Love is a many splendid oh. You okay? Yeah. When do we start a low? How much further? Just about another quarter of a mile to the highway. Oh, I wish we had stuck to the main road. These shoes weren't meant for plowed fields. They were made for walking. Shorter. Okay? Oh. My line? No, your line? Well, now, Ange, I gotta take Elvin and Lou up to Mount Pilot. Please go. They must have believed you after all. Come on, let's go back there. The police will take care of those things. Whoa! I get it, I get it. Thus began their legal nightmare. O'Neill ambulances. You plug them, we lug them. Wait a minute, that's no ambulance, it's a country squire. Hey, look, they're gonna take their prom picture. Hey, I want a copy of that. Okay, now let's have this again. You say you were driving along... Singing a song. your lights? Well, yes, sir, but that didn't have anything to do with it. So he just suddenly appeared. Suddenly appeared. From out of the dark. From out of the dark. really scared. Dark. I'm glad you guys came along. Yeah, I'll bet you are. Doc, over here. This is my puppet, now, Peppy. Kids, before I take you down to headquarters, I want you to do something for me, okay? I'm a high-energy prop guy. See this guy. nice little balloon? Well, I want you to blow it up. A balloon? <laughs> what for? Are we gonna have a party? Never <laughs> mind, just blow. Hey, come on, look, we're wasting time now. Aren't you gonna do anything about the spaceman? It, it may be a whole invasion. Blow, I said! Boy, kind of a jerk for a cop. Mm -hmm. Man says blow, he means it. <laughs> when in Rome. Well, well, yes, I worked for Benny Hill for many years. Did you ever hear such a cock and bull story? Space men, space ships. William Burroughs is a young man. In my days, we were content with pink elephants, but kids these days. <laughs> and tough, the gal says to me, you don't call him human, do you? What do you think about that? Well, what can you expect with all these bad books being written nowadays? Great Gatsby, hey, Ulysses. Okay. I'm finished. Now, can we get going, or shall I throw a little confetti around? Here, you? make a dog out of that. You know, fella, for someone who's committed a serious crime, you are very anxious to get to the police station. A serious crime? Hmm? You call killing one of those monsters mm -hmm. a crime? The script is a Something's crime. Something's weird around here. Something mm -hmm. is wrong on Saturn Something 3. Something or somebody. Come on, let's go. Hey, do you think it would be all right if maybe my girlfriend got arrested too or something? Old Blue Eyes is back. The summer wind came blowing in across that cuckoo sea. Now, if you'll just read this before you sign it. Look, this is silly. We told you what happened. Now, why don't you do something? That's exactly what we're doing, miss. Just ramrodding you through the legal system. It's not a statement. It's a confession. It's typing. Now, look, you admit driving the car, don't you? I told you that. And with the lights off? Right, but that... Now, look, buddy boy. It's whether you realize Phillip. it or not, driving without your lights and killing the man is against the law in this state. Killing a man? For snoring too loud? You call that thing a man, do you? And I haven't even added in drunk driving yet. But when we get the balloon test Julie Nixon. Back, it's another strike against you. Look, officer, my father's city attorney, and I demand that you send for him right away. Oh, everyone wants their rights. Well, miss, it so happens that I know your father, and he's already been sent for. He'll straighten you out all right. Look, uh, I don't want the siding. Now, you want to try to beat it out of me, you go ahead. No, Be really, it. I insist. Beat it out of me. It never fails. Try to be nice to a young punk, and next thing you know, you're up on charges of using the third degree. What's this about the third degree? Uh, closer to the mic. Hi, who are you? Oh, Daddy, these people are crazy. Their prices are so low. Stan and I have had a horrible time. It's Phil. Thought you told me you were going out with Bill Moore. Not with this, this roughneck. 
But don't you want to hear about the monster? No. no. That ridiculous story when the sergeant called. Now listen to me, sir. If it's humanly possible, I'll get you out of this mess. First, we deflate That's your hair. Boy. He can take his medicine. But he can't dish it out. That's a lot. Oh. This where the beating is? We'll be right over. If you'll come with me, we'll make the formal identification. Did I have worn a formal? Oh, oh I get it. Hmm. Look, Mr. Rogers, wait till you see this thing, and then maybe you'll believe us. Oh, no more close-ups, please. Uh, no. Eat. 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 I'm reporting now from Grover's Mill, New Jersey. Again, Go ahead. <laughs> and you will not be harmed. Come out with your eyes up. I don't believe anybody's in that thing. Probably under remote control. Would you like to take a walk out there in the open and test your theory? Well, yes, darling, if you'll accompany well, me. No, sir, not especially. Then shut up and start thinking of a way to explain this thing without throwing the whole nation into a complete panic. I hope panic. your heart blows up, sir. Yes, sir. Beg your pardon, sir. Maybe if we fire a few rounds at it, we'd scare someone out. Shut up! Who the heck are you? All right, go ahead. Yes, sir. It's a Simon game. Getting nowhere. Come on down to O'Neill Funeral Chapel. Over 10,000 ossified customers. Hey, they've got a really good buffet in here. So, uh, are the eye creatures there for the visitation? Oh, my gosh. An oval. Worst kind. Table for two. The unspoken language of bald men. What the heck did you say to him? Oh, very nice. That's great. Mmm. Mmm. Hope you like them. I did the frosting myself. Well, dig in. He's perfect. I love him. Well, I didn't run over this man. I ran over a monster. Are you still on that kick? You see, Mr. Rogers, I didn't exaggerate. Look, Mr. Rogers, I, sir, I swear, I, I'm telling the truth. It, 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 was, it was a space man. I've heard enough of that. I saw it. With my own hair. You know who he is? Well, according to a driver's license we found on him, his name is Carl... Uh, Sagan. We also found out he lives at 121 Maple Avenue. Mm -hmm. Where does he work? Yeah. As far as we could discover, he doesn't. Mm, actor, huh? He, uh, he and a friend of his kind of just drifted into town about a month ago. Oh, they're the drifters. Yeah, a fella he was ah, working with. Gotcha. We tried to call him to come down and identify the body, but he, uh, well, we didn't get an answer. You no, know you're uglier than I am. Can I talk to them alone for a moment? Where'd that come from? You mean here, sir? Mm, that's your office. All right. Well, that actually would be pretty neat. So you just couldn't wait until we got back to the office, could you? Uh, are we under arrest? Uh, do we have the right to remain silent? And if we give up that right, do we, uh... Get this, Bogan. Guy walks into a bar. Lucky in one respect. The man you killed is a nobody. Okay, then. There's only one person who's interested in the charges against you. And that's his roommate. Cynthia. But Daddy, I swear to you, Stan didn't kill anything that was... Quiet, Susan. At least Stan has the sense to listen. Now, tomorrow I'll go over and talk to this Carl Fenton's roommate. She's gonna blow! See what we can do to help Stan. Come on, Susan, I'm taking you home. I won't go unless Stan goes. Don't be foolish, you're not liable. Yes, I am. Well, no, I'm not. Stan's lying. He's lying through his big fat teeth. I was driving teeth. that car. Hey, now, wait a minute. You've what is this, Bonfire of the Vanities all of a sudden? Hmm? It's night, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Night. Here, give me that, Sergeant. I'm going to do my Rudy Valley. <clears throat> I'm just a vagabond lover. We've got a deadline to make. We've almost got it. Come on, we got a whole movie to shoot by 4.30. Let's snap it up. <laughs> What the? They're welding back at me! Hey, look at Oops, that! I hit the bad thing again. Oh, sounds like someone picked up a spare. What the? There's a great disturbance in the falls. 
Looks like the missile gun exploded over near the Bailey place. Fire, I put an egg in the microwave. What was that? Something blew up. Looks like it's just you and me, Trent. Easily distracted cops. I'll work the counter. Who do you suppose that was? Well, she's I new. New temps. Give us something, those things, whatever they are. They're smarter than all of us put together. What do you mean? Remember when we saw him banging away at the fender of our car? Uh -huh. What's so smart about that? Don't you see? They killed that man. And then they dented the fender of my car to make it look like we did it. It's frame-up. And we thought they were mad at the car. Right. So the car is smarter than us? No. Oh, honey, somehow we've oh. got to go back out there and get something, some kind of evidence mm. that they'll believe. Because if we don't, I'm going to jail. But how <coughs> they won't let us. I know it. Let's see. I uh, hmm. wonder where that door is. Mm. Door. Mm. Oh, door. <laughs> there it is. Oh, look at this, honey. Hey. Not exactly Alcatraz, is it? Get it. What are we waiting for? Come on, Susie. Come on. Walkies. There you go. Whatever it was. The blue blooded girls. Yes, sir. Now, what about those two kids? Uh, could you sign the guest book, sir? Sense into their heads, though. It just takes a little teenage psychology. Uh, you want cheese on that? Oh, oh forget it. They're gone, little fools. Damn, they saw the exit sign. Forget it. So you talked some teenage sense into them, did you? Look, officer, they were scared to death. Don't put this in the record. I'll take the full responsibility. Camp Howard? Candy, it would be just dandy. If my candy... If you'd like to make a... If you'd like to make a call, please, sir, hold... You still here? No. Well, of course I'm here. Where should I be? I saw your car drive off. So next Ooh. time. Oh no! If those kids have yeah. stolen my car, I mean, now, Mr. Rogers, you said you'd be responsible. I hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So do I. That chick gets too hungry for. Now. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. I'll come back when they're done. No, no, no. Come on back. Your patience slip by us. I'm looking. I'm looking. Shut, Shut up. up. It is kind of late. I wonder if they for forgot about us. Shut, shut up! up! The scope, but not too late for that date in town. No, shut, shut up! <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking. But it's kind of dull, though. Blip, blip, blip. Yeah, blip, blip. blip, blip. blip. You're, You're not, not funny. funny! Shut up! I should snap on the infrared... Uh, yeah, we should, should snap your neck. And get us court-martialed, you mean? Okay. Maybe they were killed in Vietnam. Let's hope. <laughs> Uh, snap on the infrared. Uh, snap we'll just, uh, on, snap off, take a snap peek at those kids uh, in the line of business. What else? <laughs> I'm such an imp. <laughs> what? Raid! Even I hate you too. My name is Mr. Bubble, and you can watch me pop. What do you make of it? I think I have some weird monster film on TV. Nothing as ugly as that could be for real. Punchline oh, no. coming in. Have you looked in your mirror lately? You can just tell Funny. they're falling in love. <laughs> Lenny and Squiggy join the Navy. But it must be near the end of the picture. How can you tell? Well, that searchlight swung by, right? Right. Well, that stupid monster's beginning to stumble. I'll bet you five bucks he falls right off that cliff. Have you seen this picture before? Scott's honor. Read between the lines. <laughs> You've got yourself a bet. It's like they're watching Monty Python. <laughs> Joel, I want you to take my head off. No, you'll make Please. it. I still think no. you saw that picture before. Snap on a scope before you cost me some more money. Can do, Sergeant. Can do. <laughs> blip, 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 blip. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Man, it's like no exit with bad jokes. <laughs> hey, they stole a cop car and they left the light on. Jeez, Dan. I'm worried about taking this car. Compared to everything else, a little car theft isn't going to matter. You got all the right answers. You know, suddenly I'm hungry for hand. I don't know why. Finger food. Come here, you got a fly on your head. <laughs> I 
got a booger on my finger and I can't get it off. Introducing the Garden Weasel. Cultivates to a uniform three inch depth. Like an extra hand in the garden. Really cut through the weeds. I'm Hand Christian Anderson. <laughs> Did you hear a rubber hand crawling through the woods? You see anything, honey? Not a thing. Don't get too far away. I'm frightened. Don't be afraid. We can handle this. <laughs> They're going to handle it. Get oh, it? They're going to handle it. You are <laughs> the supreme commander in charge of that department. Uh, this is rather implausible. I'm not going in the carpal tunnel. <laughs> a... Two words, compound W. Hmm? Well, actually, it's one word in the letter, but uh, you know what I mean. You're right. Yeah. Listen up, it's a monster movie. Hey, what is this, a reflex action? It just seems like the natural thing to do out here. String. 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 I wonder if any of the gang saw those things. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, there's a lot of them out here. Uh -huh. And if any of them saw it, oh. that would convince the police that we're telling the truth. Yeah, you're you mean, you're if the police Are saw they it, they'd be driving or floating. Uh, you know, uh, let your fingers sometimes do I the think walking no matter through that. How many kids try to tell the police something, they still wouldn't believe it. <laughs> hand check. <laughs> Let's drive out to the point and see if any of the kids are still there. What do we got to lose? Tap, tap. Oh, damn, sharp turn. Do I look like Earl Holloman? Come on, everybody's doing it. I'm sorry, Stan. I just can't relax. Yeah, I know what you mean. This would happen tonight of all nights, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking how much you look like Earl Holloman. I expected to be frightened on my wedding night, but nothing like this. You make being a fugitive fun. Thanks a lot. She's witty, you gotta mm. hand her that, huh? She's witty. <laughs> Michael Jackson's back there. Oh. Uh, oh, it's just gonna give her a neck massage. Rubbies. You act like you've never seen an eye creature's disembodied hand before. What? Oh, what? I can't take you anywhere. I just wanted to be friends. Hey, could you drop me off at the corner of Franklin and Blaisdell? Couldn't they just put the hand in the glove box? In the glove Do you think if they put his hand in water, the monster would pee? Oh, Stan, take me away from here, please, please. Honey, don't you see? At last we've got some evidence. Oh, who needs it? And how are we going to get it to the police station? You could put it in your handbag. Don't! Come down and see it, that's all. But who? You know, they say the first year of marriage is the hardest. Hey, we know what your father said. At the police station, he was right about one thing. The one person who'd be interested enough to listen to us is Carl's roommate. We just gotta find him. But where is he? Oh. Well, maybe they could get the hand to testify. Yep. Signed, you know. What, what, 120, 121 Maple Street. That's it. We'll go over That's there and get the it. the dullest thing you've ever said. Okay, come on. Malcolm McDowell. That is, without a doubt, the craziest story I've ever heard. In Oh, Yucky Man. Oh, will you just call and check with the police? They've been trying to get you all night, but nobody answered. Yeah, thanks to these. Yeah. When you live with a big mouth like Carl, you gotta have a secret weapon. He's dead. Please call the police, please. Come on. Aw, oh, come on. Okay. Okay, but if this is some kind of a joke, Whatever you say, don't mention our names. If they find out we're here, we're done for. Nice to don't shoot. worry. Hello, operator. Give me the police station. Hello, police. Give me back the this operator. This is Mike Lawrence. I live at 121 Maple with my roommate, Carl Fenton. Did you say Carl Fenton? We've been trying to get a hold of you. Your roommate was killed tonight. A hit and run victim. What about the phone bill? What about his half of the rent? Do you know who did it? Yeah, there were uh, two kids, a boy and a girl. They oh, uh, gas pains. given us a slip temporarily, but don't worry. We'll catch them again. You mean you had them and they got away? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been living in a fool's paradise. I thought the police were alert. Yeah, that's uh, a common yeah. fallacy. And were they scared? You should have heard the stories they told. 
All about little spacemen and... I have. You have what? Uh, oh, uh bed sores. Never mind. Thanks a lot, officer. Thanks. Uh, can you come down tomorrow and claim the body? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, uh, I'll just grab my purse. Well, we tell you the truth. Your story checks out. Carl tried to tell me something about it. Now will you come with us? In this dress, you crazy? Let me slip into a chunk. I'm a nut. Yes. Give me a chance to get dressed. No, not in ah. front of us. Oh, I need a fresh now, bra. I'm not saying there is a claw, mind you. But if there is one, I'm going to get a picture of it. Hey, great. Why is his camera in his underwear drawer? <laughs> it's a hot one. What's so funny? But peace, love, and understanding. I'm just thinking how Carl will feel when I put him on exhibition as the world's first victim of a spaceman. Jeez, his friend isn't even cold well, yet, and they're making let's get fun going. of him. What? Uh, Lordy, Lordy, Ricky's 40. <laughs> Lee, Julie, Slimy. Oh. A Muppet News Flash. Ah. Thought you said the police had your car. They do. This is Susan's. Who's Susan? Oh. <laughs> Battery's going dead. When's the last time you got some water? Whenever the filling station man asked me. Not the radiator, he means the battery water. What's that? You know, blinker juice. How about a little push? I'm a guest here, remember? All right, Susan, okay. get out and push. Okay. Come on. <laughs> That's our serial killer. <laughs> Fussy Dyson Bungles, Fussy Dyson, I like this. No top, no motor, but a brand new shiny spotlight. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it for that. What did you get it for? Well, the chrome makes an excellent mirror. Well, at least she's got muscle. No brains, but muscle. David Lynch only aspires to make something this creepy. <laughs> That's enough. Stop doing that, you're rocking the car. Language. Elvis is very sensitive. Elvis? Yeah, the gang calls her Elvis. She shakes and shimmies a lot, but she can really go. Well, so your car pops fluids and flies to Denver for peanut butter and banana sandwiches? Man, took you long enough. Nice night for it. Hey, who's minding the counter? What's going on here? Your head's on right, fire. Sergeant. One of our jets crashed. Oh, yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, I had a busy night, too. Been flooded with calls from people who say they've seen flying saucers and little spacemen. <laughs> so, uh, what's yeah, your name? Whatever got started. Now you got me, Sarge. Well, uh, good night. Night, Sergeant. He sure cracked that investigation, didn't he? Hey, will you watch me and make sure I get started all right? Okay. Say hi to those cops for me. Yeah, keep the bend in the country. Tildozer. Bill Cole, what are you up to? Well, did you get rid of them? Just can't stand fuzz. Fuzz? <laughs> well, uh, Belly button lint? My nephew calls him. That kid has me brainwashed. What does that have to yes, do sir. with anything? I uh, gave him a story that uh, one of our jet planes crashed and that we were taking care of everything. Did he believe you? Was he supposed to? You are talking to the man who made the papers believe 45-year-old B-girls were teenage maidens. This was duck soup. Uh, could you unpack that for me, please? Trent, the sensitive GI. Huh, didn't see you there with your camouflage clothing on. Be all that I can be. Did you find any signs of life, sir? Not in this platoon. Ha! Ah. No, besides the fuzz. Whatever flew that thing down here went up in smoke. Nothing left but ashes. Job well done, sir. Makes you proud, doesn't it? Nothing going on. Pass it on. That's the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Being a part of a show like this, protecting your country from alien invaders. Mm -hmm. Think of it. Mm -hmm. Nobody 
keep it. This special unit and the President of the United States know what really happened here tonight. Uh, <clears throat> Tic Tac, sir? You know what happened? Well, of course we do. When Neil Think Simon writes a horror film. This top secret security business is like scratching, Colonel. Once you get started, it's hard to stop. You coming on to me? Just what are you getting at, Lieutenant? I love you, Mr. Johnson, and I want to have your baby. Did it ever occur to you that there might be other things being hushed up by other units just like ours? Dick, do the man. Hey, this is the movie statement. Let's listen. There. Uh, ah, nothing. Boy, am I tired. I got a call in the night. We're highway helpers here. Need a hand in there? Get it? Hand? <laughs> uh, one out of 12. See the hand. Gonna see Miss Liza go to Mississippi. Hey, that eye creature's got a slim gym. Keep an eye out for the cops. An eye because. <laughs> the funny thing is, the window's down and the door's unlocked on the other side because they're eye creatures, you know. That's what makes it fun. I can barely Johnny, keep my eyes open. Yawning <laughs> because they're, I guess, big hat dumping. Oh, no, not those meddling kids again. So far, the attack of the eye creatures hasn't happened. No, it's more like the minor vandalism of the eye creatures. Aye, aye! Ladies and gentlemen, the Satellite of Love in association with George Slaughter Productions presents in the world premiere of their new line of Attack of the Eye Creature Gags, the Rip Taylor Trio. Whoa! 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 whoa. Thanks, Mark! Thanks for having us! Oh, what a movie! Not like they say on Wayne's World! Whoa. In the words of the immortal eye creature, an eye for an eye for an eye for an eye, because you see, they got so many eyes! Look at who their favorite president is. I'm guessing Eisenhower, because oh, they have, no, so, it begins with an I and a, uh, Oh, let's cut with the pattern and get out of the A material. Uh, I thought we were doing the I material. Because it's East Camp to the left. Kiss me. Sister, uh, don't cross me. Uh, uh, it's the I creature's visine model, because uh, you see, they got uh, so many uh, eyes that you wouldn't uh, understand. Uh, the uh, I creature's uh, contact lens uh, case. Contact uh, lens, because they have lots of it's funny! Because <laughs> <laughs> of the mascara bottle! Yes, oh, the mascara yes, bottle! Because he got lots of lashes, yes, girls, yes, and a... Yes, what yes, are you laughing at? Oh, 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 sister! Oh, oh, come on, it's hello. funny! Come on, laugh! Oh, oh. Yes, uh, the eye creatures! Glasses! Because you see, they got so many eyes in their uh, uh, large uh, uh, ball! Oh, How oh, about oh, the oh, eye creatures? Oh, sun visor! The sun visor! Holy mackerel! They got lots of eyes! I shot! I shot! Honey, I shot! Oh, yeah. oh, shut up! Oh, yes, <laughs> them no, tongues! No, no, no please. You want to get the eye creature mad? Oh. Do this! See, because they, they got so many eyes, you see. It. It's all part of the fun. Oh, why it's don't you get a day job? <laughs> the eye creature's eye gun collection bucket. Right mucus drool bucket, because they have lots of eyes with buckets of drool in it. It's, it's funny! It's oh. 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 Carl Malta's handkerchief, you see this? It's big nose and think it doesn't have anything to do with eye creatures. Monogram, oh. whoa! I, I lost oh. it, didn't I? I lost it. Everybody one. will be appearing at the Tropicana with <laughs> Debbie Reynolds, OK? Thanks! Bye bye! <laughs> what? Do I have eyes in the back of my head? Oh, it's funny. Mike, did you see it? Oh, I saw something. W whatever it is, it's on the floor. It's looking for change. I found a comb and a french fry. Look at that, Stan. I'd never believed it. It's certainly glib about an alien hand. Mm. Seeing's believing. Man, could I clean up with a dozen of those. Mm. What could they do? Play six pianos. Mm. Or three pianos and three drums. What a combo. We call them, uh, the fingers. Uh, uh, why'd we bring him uh, with again? Pretty sick. Oh, and I maybe. 
Horowitz's hand. I gotta get a tour. picture of this. I never seen him so happy. The biggest thing in his life since that stupid dress. Yep, sure does give you pause. Huh? Why doesn't that work with relatives? If it lets you live. It's gone. Hmm? But, well, I saw something. It was right there. It flipped me off. Look, come on, let's get him back to town. I mean, they've got to believe us now when Mike backs us up. They can't accuse him of being a hysterical kid. Well, all right, come on. Now, who'd let's suspect him? I got Sammy Davis high. <laughs> I got a million of them, literally. literally. Ooh. Ah. Oh, hey, wait for me. I want to get you right into town, OK? Did you just? Don't start getting excited now. You gotta be absolutely calm when you call the police. I'm glad you told me. <laughs> this darn car. That darn car starring Haley Mills. Turn out the lights and give you more juice. Good idea. Ooh, large curd, cottage cheese thighs. <sighs> okay, I'll push. I'm dancing. <laughs> no, we weren't even making out. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, your suits didn't come in, so tomorrow just wear black and your masks. Quick, climb into Susan's hair. You know, close up, they're really not that scary. Suddenly, I'm strangely calm. Did you hit it with the light? I don't know. I can't see anything. It certainly sounds like you. They're in the bushes. Stan, use the spotlight. Turn the spotlight on him. Why don't you do it then? Poof! That is sick feed. Hello, Roy. Hello. Are you off your rocker? Oh, she's right. It burns them up like it did the claw. Stan, remember the battery. You cut the headlights. They don't do any good. Oh, no. These ones are the heads. They'll be a lot easier to kill. The attack of the lazy eye creature. Attack of the I don't think so creature. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Oh. Huh. Uh, oh. Now what will we do? I don't know. What do you want to do? The getting dimmer. The battery's getting bigger. My hair's still big. Man, I love going to the dump to see these things, huh? That's it! Let's make a run for it! If I hear any more screaming, young lady, I'm going to ground you! Well, okay, what are they gonna do? Stare at him to death? Um, hey, you got a little, uh, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn in. I'll oh, get you after the night. Oh, 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 the president's polyp. Oh. Oh, quit looking at me. Quit looking at me. You know, they've got a lot of optic there. Oh, oh, it's hard to, yeah. Oh, they're just poo-pooing him. You could probably pack fine china with those guys. <sighs> they gotta soak their contacts or they'll be up all night because <laughs> there's so many eyes in contact. Man, it sure is bright over there. Mm -hmm. The camera. Damn, we forgot to run. Man, you need Dramamine to watch this movie. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Back up, back up. Uh, give me a second. Okay, close. Well, don't. Okay, hold it. Thank you. Hey, they just knocked over the cameraman. It's now or never. Richard and Mary Kimball, the fugitive family. Oh, she's got no way to Oh, Stan, I can't go another step. We've got to rest. Oh, okay, I'll meet you there. We should be safe here for a minute anyway. Yeah, we're a good 10, 12 feet away. Did they kill Mike? 
I don't know. I saw him pick him up and carry him away. Oh, we've got to get help. We've got to. We can't leave Mike to those, those creatures. Why? What are we going to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? What if we turned ourselves into the police? Well, then we'd be what policemen and we could drop the don't charges. You see? Once we get the police out here, we'll get them to help Mike some way. Hey, I got an idea. Let's get the police out here. To use Bailey's phone. He won't let us. He'll shoot us. I'll be charming. Come on. Even in death, I'm charming. <laughs> Boy, it's dark. Sure is dark. Yep. Right. Chuck Woolery. Look, I'm trying to tell you, we want to give ourselves up if you'll just come out here to the Bailey place. I'm the eighth you caller, aren't I? Right anymore. Go home and sleep it off. Well, what about Carl? Well, according to the autopsy we did on him, the cause of death was uh, heart failure due to alcoholism. Well, how about the fender on my car? Now, you said that proved I hit him. Look, you're oh, not under arrest. He all right, but only after he was dead. After? Well, the way we figured, he was drunk, and he must have ran his car off the road down the hill. We found an empty liquor bottle in it. Ooh, in the end? That must have been what did it. Yeah, that's what gave us the tip-off. He must have managed to get out of the car mm -hmm. and climb back up the hill, but the exertion and the liquor were just too much for his ticker, hey, so he coughed out. You don't know it. And then you kids must have come along and run over his body. But won't you come out here? Hey, how'd you do that well, with your voice? You're cleared. What about stealing your car? Don't you want us for that? Well, we will get the car back. Just don't sweat it. You can't get arrested in but this But we film. stole it just the same. Young lady, don't worry about it. Your father took care of it. Now, please, don't bother me anymore. Just go home and sleep it off. Dracula. No, no, Gertrude Stein. No. Dirty, wake up. Ooh. Great. It's a conquistador. Trust Daddy. He came through again. Yeah. We couldn't act. How about the gang up at the hill? Oh, no. Not at a time like this. Oh, don't be silly, honey. I mean, they'll still be there. Maybe they'll help us. At least they'll believe us. What makes you think so? Because they're not like our parents, and they won't think that we're drunk or nuts or something mm. just because we're young. Maybe you're right. It's worth a try. Come on. That's my egg sack. We'll be back. It's necking time. Please tell me it's morning. Wake up, wake up, wake up, everybody. Nancy, Nancy, we were attacked by, by weird creatures and they captured him. Weird creatures. And the police wouldn't believe us. Uh, I didn't hear the first part. Bill? Bill, will you help? I can't. I'm just a bit part. Okay, you wanted a Whipper Burger and a shake and some fries? Come on, I'll, I'll show you the way. He's making out with a poodle. If you build it, they will come. When teenagers save the world. Some moochers! Hey, keep your lips on the wheel. Well, that does it. I have no chin. Good night's work. Now we can get some sleep and read about the jet crash in tomorrow morning's paper. Oh, aren't we regular devils? <laughs> Actually, I'm a large. We are candy-coated peanuts, popcorn, and a prize. Good. That's a female. She has less plumage. Hey, it looks like Yule Gibbons' funeral processional. Because of the woods and hickory uh, trees. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry folks. All of us are out of gas. Get ready to make out. They were heading for this clearing where there used to be an ice plant, remember? Ice plant? Well, no wonder. Okay, I turn your lights off. <laughs> Now look, when we get up there, we surround the clearing. Once everybody gets in position, then I'll blow the horn. And don't be alarmed if it suddenly becomes two in the afternoon. Be a signal for everybody to turn their lights on. You got it? Yeah, uh, we got it. Uh, okay, so let's go. when do I turn my lights on? When do I blow my horn? Uh, well, guess the funeral's over. Better. Okay.
You gotta turn the hose on these two. Yeah. Okay, this is practice. Let's just drive through it once. Corgi cars. They're bigger. They're better. Hmm. So. Huh? Hmm. Okay. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Freddy Fender! <laughs> Don't hit! Uh. No, 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 don't pass out on me now. Oh, they just didn't care. Oh, this makes Mannequin 2 like, like a masterpiece. That night, the next morning, sometime that evening, during the next afternoon. They didn't care. Look at it. Late in the middle of that dark, uh, Afternoon, which was morning, actually. Oh, uh, the invasion's not going too well, guys. I hadn't planned on light. I didn't see the memo. Well, he blowed up late. Blowed up real late. Really? Baboom! Hello, Roy. Hello, Siegfried. His complexion cleared up. There were giant Stratex pads. Hmm. Wait, wait a minute, what am I doing in men's clothes? Do I look fat in this? What happened? Where am I? You're all right, they had you. But we burned them up. They had me? Yeah. Oh, really but how'd I get here? Where am I? Don't you remember? Spaceman. Does the phrase street length sweater dress ring a bell? <laughs> Mr. Bailey, always on guard against smoochers. Hey, it's old man Bailey. Man, when he fires that cannon, old, old man Bailey. Slide again. These two love to love. Wherever there's a guy smooching a cop, I'll be there. It's getting hotter in here. You know, I bet that nobody will ever believe it. Of course not. Why should they? After all, we're just a couple of crazy kids. But, but what if they come again? What if there are more of them around right now? I guess all we can do is hope that the next guy that runs into one is 100% certified adult. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> Suddenly it's a French film. Two French! Like what? Like watching your friends make out? <laughs> Ralph. <gasps> hey, we were going for the record. And Cheryl can be my maid of honor. Hey, man, have you slipped your track? Making out is where it's at. back on it. Oh, good. I was hoping those two would get together. <laughs> Be fruitful and multiply after you're married. <laughs> oh, let's break up. I'm tired of you now. Poor Daddy. He really will never believe it. So why tell him? Put her there. <laughs> no, I mean there. <laughs> there. <laughs> I get the feeling. Oh, yeah. <sighs> The, the end. <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, mad scientists and others, we are about to show through witnesses, deposition, and a series of still frames that the producers of this film, Attack of the Eye Creatures, just did not care. Exhibit one, please, Cambot. Cambot, cue that up, thank you. Yes, the night the light intolerant eye creatures spearheaded their bone-chilling assault on Earth was actually quite a lovely day. In fact, you couldn't have picked a nicer day to film a night sequence. Just after midnight or high noon, you decide. You see, they just didn't care. Gambot, next please. The eye creatures, scabby, inflexible, lethargic, mucus-expelling creatures having no spoken language and no particular powers with which to conquer. They were also unfortunate enough to have evolved with heavy-duty zippers running up their backs. This frame is a clear indication that they just didn't Cambot, thank you. Some eye creatures are born with scaly protective coverings. 
Others are born with hundreds of eyes protruding from fleshy knobs. Still others, like this whisper-thin fellow, are born with tight acrylic wool blend turtleneck sweaters from Chess King. Folks, they just didn't care. Next, please, thank you. Take a look at this guy. Go ahead, take a good long look. You see, they just didn't care. Gambot, thank you. If you're ever in a fight with an eye creature, keep in mind that his head is simply draped casually over his shoulders and should be no trouble to knock off. Failing that, eye creature tend to be most vulnerable in their union suit area, illustrated here. Get ready to give chase to an injured eye creature. As you can see, he is wearing his Jack Purcell athletic shoes. Folks, they just did not care. The lubricious serial killer in the multicolored sheath dress. The Alan Sherman wannabe in the leopard skin robe. The unexplained shot of Gertrude Stein examples all that. They, they just, just didn't, didn't care. care. We rest our case. What do you think, sirs? They did too care. In fact, we've got director Larry Buchanan here with us, don't we, Frank? Yeah, hey, Larry, come here. Hey, come here. Larry, tell them. Tell these people. Tell them how you took your dream, your vision, and through blood, sweat, and effort, you own that dream and turned it into a reality through year, well, days of hard work, determination, struggle. You took that cherished dream that you had and you... You don't really care, do you? Push the button, Frank. <laughs> This has been a presentation from Comedy Central.